I am going on a date. I'm not going to say anybody's you. names, but I'm very excited about this. I've been texting him for a couple of days and we've talked a little on the phone as well. Um, so tonight we're going to go and get some food and maybe listen to some live music. My favorite date, live music. Um, food and live music and maybe like well some drinks so to be fine I'm nervous um <laughs> I haven't done this My god man was that one slow it's like she hasn't progressed from being a teenager or something I get that that feeling happens every now and then when you feel like a damn teenager, you're going out on a date, it's fun, the expectation there, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, when you're trying to be entertaining to people, at least get to the point. Gentlemen, welcome to another video. I hope you're doing well. Um, this compilation is getting after divorce. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what this one has to say. What else does she have in... Uh, <laughs> what else does she have to say to us before she goes on her date? Let's see here. One sec. Oh. It's so long, but I'm really looking forward to it. And he seems like seems like a really good guy. So we will see how it goes. Passed all my preliminary questions. Maybe one of these days I will share my preliminary questions here. <laughs> I'm not like an easy person to ask out, I think, because I know what I want um, and I'm not playing games. And I think. Everybody plays games. <laughs> as much as I wish it weren't the case and we were all 100% straightforward, human nature just isn't like that and uh it really doesn't make you unique for knowing exactly what you want i think that um my directness sometimes um is intimidating um but my thought process is if somebody makes it through those prelim questions then they're worth going on the date for so. last thing i think that i'm the most nervous about is that this is the first time that I'm like putting myself out there since the divorce. And I was like out with some friends last night and um Yeah, a nervous woman is not an intimidating woman. <laughs> You're like a sheep to me. My god, man. Um this guy came up to me and he was like, um I heard you were married. And I'm like who, first of all, who in this bar told you that? Second of all, like, uh, I am very obviously divorced. My fucking business. Like, people kill me. I'm nervous about, like, running into any of my ex's family or anybody that maybe hasn't heard about the divorce yet. It's gonna be fine. I feel like I need to, like, prep him for that, though, so we'll see. Um, see how that conversation goes. I don't know how to keep you updated. Yeah, she's probably not having a second date. And like it says in this caption, I don't know if you can read that, uh, it says, don't lie on your dating profile, as in this woman should have seriously told her date that she is divorced. Okay. Let's get on with this one who's trying to look like a man, I guess. I know a woman who lied about her age on her dating app profile and told her not to. She did it anyway. She I apologize. Maybe she's a lesbian or something. Let's get on with it. She was in her late 50s and she knocked several years off on her profile. Well, she met this incredibly lovely man. They had an amazing time together. A couple few months passed. They were starting to get very close and the whole time she's like how do i tell him she finally comes clean and he says well i'm really shocked that you lied to me and i don't really know that i want to date you anymore now the reason damn imagine having standards in this day and age 
And if somebody lies to you, you know, completely appears as if they're not what they are on their dating profile, if you could just keep it moving because they're wasting your time, what else are they lying about? It's so crazy, man. You think you can get away with stuff like that, but uh, you know, lies get unraveled very easily in life. The thing he gave was because you lied to me and now I can't trust you. And that very likely was part of it. Her hat says I like it dirty. Okay, good for you. You want a freaking cookie or something? Was another part of the reason that he wouldn't, in fact, have wanted to date her because of her age? Maybe. We'll never know. But the point is that the person who's right for you is looking for you. So you need to be real in your profile. Okay. Yeah, 100%. There's really no reason to be lying as a man on your profile. Like, not about your height, not about how much money you make, even though I don't know why you'd have that on your profile, but when that conversation comes up, which is always freaking awkward. But yeah, on the man's side there, however, it, it's going to happen. You're going to find stuff like that if you choose to date. Uh, before I continue, I would super appreciate it if you like the video so that more people can end up seeing my content. It really helps out. Subscribe if you like my content and you haven't done it already. And notification bell if you just want to be notified every time it happens. Thanks, guys. Let's uh, move on. So I'll do it. <laughs> in case I ramble, I do think I am. That's all right. That's me in a nutshell. By the way, the comment says, how long do you think it will take you to seriously date again with full intention after your divorce? <sighs> Hopefully that should be right away. Ready to seriously date with full intention again? I do date kind of like no expectation. We'll see where it goes. That's always how I've been. I've never been super big to force labels, especially when like dating, like casually dating. Um, I honestly only ever did with my ex, um, ex-husband, which was honestly looking back a really big red flag for me of how it made me insecure. But um, I've always been a very big, you know, I'm waiting for the day I watch one of these videos and one of these divorced women say absolutely nothing terrible, uh, sorry, terrible about their divorce whatsoever. You know, the divorce just happened. We grew out of love. Whatever. That happens. But, uh, no, it's always something negative. I wonder what the man says in the case of, you know, if they were to be on TikTok. Uh, that'd be nice to get thrown in. Every now and then, into the editor. Let's go on. Like monogamy girl, I do like the idea of building a life with someone, especially as early as possible, learning all different versions of ourselves together and growing and kind of creating this life, you know? And just because this didn't work out doesn't mean that that has ruined my view of marriage. It has made me realize that I definitely need a prenup next time, but um, it hasn't ruined my ideas of marriage or the beauty of it or the concept of a serious relationship i do love having a partner that i can go to farmers markets with can chill at home with can travel with can go for walks with the dogs with hang out with families with like i i love that you can just do that with a friend you don't need to be in a relationship to do that uh you're hitting on all the wrong points uh in all honesty and uh yeah i don't think you need to be married you're clearly divorced like let's think things through <laughs> think things damn through and i love building something like that with somebody and i do really feel healed as i healed a lot in the relationship once i realized i had been begging for my for fair treatment about like six months to a year before it hit me in february that i was like oh my god i've been begging for this forever and i'm being ignored um i do have ocd and i had a really big Okay, what is it? Like, what were you asking for? OCD flare-up, so I was kind of oblivious to the treatment I was receiving because I was so sick. And once the clouds started lifting, I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm begging to be apologized to. I'm begging to be Okay, I, I mean, I don't fully understand OCD, but OCD is obsessive-compulsive disorder from my understanding. And for the most part, um... Like what? Were you putting things 
somewhere incredibly odd in the room and he was like logically that doesn't make sense please put it back and understand uh i don't get it man maybe if somebody has a bit more understanding of ocd and what the hell this woman is talking about they could leave it in the comments i would appreciate it treated nicely i'm begging for quality time and being told i'm not worth it and it started me journaling of standards that I've let slide in this relationship. And so I kind of did all like my healing girl shit as I was in the relationship because okay. I was trying to honestly heal from the hurt that this person had caused me as well as f try and find a solution for us. And yes, it didn't end up working for us, but I do believe that the healing and the work I had done while I was healing from this in the relationship as well as out of it now um will be really a great foundation for myself and my standards and what i deserve sure. from a partner going forward um i don't do anything half-assed i i can't i don't feel right using people i don't feel right right because you might be flicking the light switch for two hours <laughs> like i hate to laugh and i apologize for anybody that does have ocd but uh on the outside looking in, it's kind of kind of crazy stuff um but let's continue right using people to heal for myself or for attention or anything like that and so if i am like going to date someone with more a few more dates like it will be with full intention even now um and i'm very open with anybody that i have spoken to that i am going through a divorce and the reception has been quite well which was something i was very very afraid of honestly um i hope this answered it. if there's anything else please let me know Nothing else from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I guess we're in the next video there, but either way, we're going to be wrapping things up. Uh, yeah, I get this woman is different, given OCD is uh, quite the hell of a thing, from my understanding. Uh, like, as I was kind of laughing at immaturely, uh, people mentioning that they have to have the lights on in all of the rooms and whatnot, and, or else it'll, like, trigger them feeling very unhappy and stuff like that. It's just like, it's just mind-boggling to me is quite the same person or better what's the more pc term for that somebody that doesn't have mental health issues i don't know uh but uh you know moving right along um yeah maybe that's what triggered it she uh, got diagnosed with this and it became a thing and it drove them apart and everybody's different you know people get diagnosed with adult ADHD all the time from what I understand and it completely changes their lives for the better that's how things go either way I'm rambling a little bit I'm gonna let you all go and go do all the fun stuff that you gotta do I hope you enjoyed this video uh, like it if you could subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell as I'd really appreciate that um, I'll catch you in the next one Always do your due diligence, be careful out there if you're dating over 30, and cheers.